Are you looking for the batshit craziest EV available in America? Are you looking for 350 miles of range, zero to 60 in three seconds, and one of the heaviest curb weights of a passenger production vehicle? Then you want the new Hummer EV. Now stay tuned because I am actually going to be driving one of these in just three weeks. And I have to say that even though I would never buy a Hummer EV, and I think this is absolutely insane, it's insane in a way that I never thought a car company would actually make, and I'm glad that they did, really. This is an off-road capable oriented half-ton electric truck. It has a approximately 200 kilowatt hour battery pack in this vehicle. This is one of the biggest batteries that you will be able to buy in any modern EV. And it's using the latest Ultium battery technology from GM. So even though this particular EV truck is absolutely insane, this highlights the kind of systems and the battery technology that we're going to get in the Silverado EV and a Sierra EV at some point later in time. Like the Avalanche that came before and of course the new Silverado EV, the body and the cab here, the bed and the cab I should say, are all one piece. That's why we have this little design cue right there to help make things a little bit more rigid. And I have to say that standing next to this, it's obvious how big it is. I mean, I'm six feet tall. I can just about put my arm right there on the bed. This is a big truck, but in person, it doesn't look quite as large as those numbers otherwise would until you start looking at some of the details, like how incredibly wide this tailgate is. This is wider than the average truck. And then of course we have the massive fender flares on either side. This uses a version of the GMC Multi Pro tailgate that we find available on the Sierra and now of course soon on certain Chevy trucks as well. Although I have to say that the buttons that operate some of these flip and fold functions aren't quite as easy to use as they are on the Sierra and this tailgate is pretty heavy. This is not the kind of thing that you can easily flip and fold yourself with just one hand. Lots of off-roading intentions here. These enormous shackles right here on the rear are pretty epic. This is again a very heavy EV. Seven pin wiring harness there, connectors for the integrated trailer cameraing systems. That's something that GMC has done excellently with the Sierra and of course Chevy with the Silverado as well. These taillight modules are also really cool. They kind of have a crystalline theme to them, I guess you'd say. They look clear, but they actually light up red. If you're expecting high efficiency numbers from this EV, think again, because this is big, it's heavy, and it has really off-road oriented tires right from the factory. These are Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires, and you can see that these wheels appear to be beadlock capable wheels if you were to add some accessories on later. I don't have good information about that right at this moment. But again, if you're thinking about EV and EV efficiency, you might want to consider something like a Silverado EV over this. The extra body width here definitely puts this in a different aerodynamic category. But let's take a look at the inside first. The first thing you'll notice inside are that these roof panels are removable. We have two panels up front and then two panels back there for the rear passengers as well. This definitely has a Wrangler or Bronco vibe in that respect. And that's exactly the sort of customer that GMC is hoping to attract with this new truck. The doors and dashboard have a very industrial flair to them, very squared off areas. We have the new Google infotainment system here, basically the same that we find in the Silverado and the Sierra, but with different buttons for the uh, Hummer here. And of course, different graphics as well. Same sort of trailering systems that we find in other GMC trucks. And as we see in other EVs, lots of information about what the electrical systems in the vehicle are doing. There's another LCD right below that. And then a huge bank of toggles here for things like the vents, heated and ventilated seats, that sort of thing. Another row of toggles. These are a little bit more difficult to see here because they do light up when the vehicle is on. These have to do with the four wheel drive system here, heated steering wheel, stability and traction control, etc. Big air vents, trailer brake controller, lots of room in the center console. This is one of the ways you can tell that this is a very big vehicle, really wide center console. And of course those massive fender flares as well. Same sort of shifter we find in the GMC Sierra there, lifting this up, lots of storage between the driver and front passenger seats. Very unique steering wheel design. Obviously this is gonna get the Super Cruise system from modern Cadillac models. That's why we have that little light up right there. Large LCD instrument cluster on the driver's side as well. And lots of attention to detail on the dashboard. Something that I didn't expect, like these little fins here. Now on the downside, you can already see that this is going to be a little bit difficult to keep clean. It's already some sort of stuff going on in there, but I like the design. It's a really elegant theme. Be sure and hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom of your screen because I'm going to have a full review on this just as soon as possible and I will again be driving it in about three weeks. So stay tuned for that video as well. But in the meantime, if you're looking for one of the most ridiculous EVs out there, one of the baddest EVs, that is certainly going to be this Hummer EV. 
I have to admit, however, I might be a little bit more interested in the Chevy Silverado EV if I could wait for it because it has a trick up its sleeve that this one does not. It has a mid gate. So in this section right here, the rear seats will fold down. You can lower the window down and then you can put large cargo from the back of the driver's seat all the way back there to the bed. So if you want an eight foot sheet of plywood or an eight foot sheet of whatever from the end of that bed all the way inside the vehicle, you can do that in that Chevy Silverado, very much like the old Avalanche. That seems like a really, really cool feature, and we don't have it on the Hummer EV. The probable big reason for that is that this is a bit more off-road oriented, a little bit more off-road intended, and that might have created too much flex in the body. So it's probably why they deleted it from the Hummer EV. Let me know what you think about that down there in the comments section below, and of course, I will see you later.